Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Everybody has a list of their favorite crops to plant. I'm no different. So today I'm going to go over my five favorite vegetables to plant. Number one on my list are tomatoes. These are indeterminate tomatoes. Uh, it's my first time growing these. I started these inside or in, tr in cells about four to five weeks ago. And I planted them out and they're doing very well. Um, tomatoes like warm, so warm um, soil and lots of sunlight. So if you're going to plant them, those are two of the requirements that you need. Um, if you're going to plant them, cages, I'm sorry, um, tomatoes need support. Um, indeterminate tomatoes, you can use cages or the trellis method that you see here with me. Um, I have something that I concocted to boards with another board on top with hooks screwed into the top and I have a nylon string that comes down and I can use clips to clip the tomato to the string to keep it sturdy and support it. I used cages last year and I found that with the cages um, very difficult and the vines were all over the place. Um, determinate tomatoes usually are more of a bushy type and when they harvest or bloom, uh, ripen, everything will ripen pretty, pretty much all at one time and then the plant will go ahead and die. Um, with indeterminates it's the other way around. Um, indeterminates are viney and if you're a small space gardener like me, space is uh, at a premium, so I prefer to do determinants. My second favorite plant to grow is lettuce. Um, lettuce, specifically romaine lettuce, my family and I love it. What you're looking at now are two different types. One is the Monte Carlo, the green, and the other is the Cher Cherokee MDT. Um, I like the way the plant looks when you when it starts growing. It stands up kind of majestically. Um, the colors are nice and pretty and they're very easy to grow. Very, very, very easy to see after. Basically, you can put the seed into the ground, water it, uh, it doesn't really need much fertilizer and it will grow and grow and grow. Um, it doesn't like overly hot tempers, hot um, temperatures. Um, once it gets to that point, the plant will bolt or go to seed and then it will be time to remove it. My third favorite plant to grow are beans. What you're looking at now are contender bush beans. Um, basically, if you're looking for a big return with minimal effort, grow beans. The seeds are large and are easy to plant and will germinate quickly if your soil is warm. They will give you, they're fast growing and they will give you a very large harvest. You can grow them directly into the ground once the soil is warm. In my case, since I live in zone 10, I can pretty much grow these year round. And I usually plant these once they get up of size another uh, round of beans 
uh, every two to three weeks. That way I have an ample supply on hand at all times. And what you're looking at are cucumbers. Um, I planted these on the 15th and they have germinated. Um, I planted six, all six have germinated. I'm waiting for true, true leaves, uh, two sets of true leaves to come up before I put them in their container. Cucumbers love warmth, so if you're gonna plant them, make sure your soil is warm and the danger of frost has passed before you grow them. Um, just like with tomatoes, these like to vine. So I'll show you the area where I'm going to put them at in a minute. Um, you will need a good support system for the vines. And they like to be watered a lot. Um, if you do not water them, just like with any other plant, they will die. Um, cucumbers like slightly acidic soil. Um, the soil should have a, um, a pH between six and seven. So I add lime to um, my soil or coffee grounds, and that helps with their, um, the coffee grounds help with any type of rust that may develop, and the lime helps with the acidity of the soil. My fourth favorite plant to grow are sweet peppers. This is a California wonder. It was planted on the 15th of February. I'm waiting until I get more true leaves before I put it in its final home. Um, cucumbers, I'm sorry, peppers like cu cucumbers like slightly acidic soil, so I add lime and I am basic fertilizer. Um, for me, I use Nature Safe 855 when planting. Um, and as long as they are watered routinely, they will grow and provide you a good crop. My fifth favorite crop to grow is kale. Um, kale is a real sturdy crop. It can grow during the late autumn through the early summer portions of, of the year. Um, it can really stand cold weather. It lacks a loamy soil with good drainage. And this is my third year growing kale. I usually use it for smoothies, uh, salads. Sometimes I make chips out of it. Um, it's overall in the top five of my favorites, which is why it's here. Some other vegetables that I could have added to the list, collard greens, mustards, cabbage, carrots, and if you have been following my channel for a while, you know that I love hot peppers. So um, all of them are pretty um, intermixed, but I gave you the list that at this point, let's put it that way, that I like the most. Um, I hope you got something out of the video. Um, if you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I want to take this opportunity to have you consider doing so. I can grow a lot of vegetables, as you saw, but I cannot grow the channel without your help. If you do subscribe, go ahead and hit the notification bell. You'll be notified whenever I upload new content. If you're interested in any of the vegetables or seeds or equipment that I used in the video, go ahead and head over to my Amazon storefront or head over to my website. There are some pretty good deals there. You have 20 days left until spring officially starts, so there's no time like the present.
You can share my content and leave me a comment. I'll be sure to respond. So until next time, stay strong, stay blessed, and remember, even in small spaces like mine, you can grow a good amount of food for yourself as well as your family. Stay strong, stay blessed, and grow, grow, grow.